Hello and welcome back to episode number two of TNA Wrestling in 2004. In the first episode, we we took the company in a new direction, bringing in names like Brian Dangerson to the fold of the X Division and putting the NWA World Title on AJ Styles. Well, tonight we continue that new direction and we start hinting at other storylines like I could have done in the past. And I'm taking a new direction in my booking style, and hopefully this will work. So we get a recap for the past few weeks, um, week shows. And then we're told for the next two weeks, the shows will be out of the asylum on the road. And tonight we're live in Las Vegas, Nevada. We've got the Devengi Pro goes off on the stage and fans are chanting TNA, TNA. Announces hype tonight's match card, and they say that Jarrett will face... To that Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett will face Team Jarrett partner Abyss, and his show has agreed to a title fight against Jeff Hardy in the main event tonight. And then Jarrett's music hits, and he storms out to the ring, but he doesn't get in the ring. <laughs> as he storms, he, he is, as he storms down the ramp, he goes over to the announcer desk and grabs a mic and stands on the desk. Eric Rocks performed poorly, and they weren't scripted. Oops. Anyway, don't matter. And Jarrett's like, so on the road for the next two weeks, and next week I get my title back. Tonight I face a bit, and he will lay down in the ring for me to beat him. Let's kick this show off with, with that, shall we? And before then, Eric Rock's music hits, and he comes out, and he goes, Eric, you can have that match right now, but next week will be my final night in charge. So tonight, Jarrett, I'm going to be the special referee for your match to so make sure they're no stupid get-out-of-jail-free moves. And Jarrett's like, you got to be kidding me. Who's next in charge? Some loser who can't do a good job, like you. And Eric's like, just you wait, Jarrett. It's going to be shock for the world. Now on with this match. And he takes off his um, shirt he's got here, and he puts on the um, ref shirt. And we have now gone back to the f f world famous Re Icarus Art Wed screen, which we used last year, and we use again in this game in 2016. And we're using this game because it's my favourite one. Then in a decent match, Jeff Jarrett defeated Abyss in 12-28 by pinfall, using on-turn tactics to finish, so really tries to take over as a referee after the original referee is knocked out. So what happens is Jeff Jarrett gets annoyed with Eric Rocks because he won't count the pinfalls and stuff, <clears throat> and Abyss is literally laying into him, and he nearly loses a couple of times. You know, Abyss is really that close to winning the match a couple of times, so he basically just takes out Eric Watts, who's your referee, um, before and then he hits Abyss over the head with a, with a guitar, and then he gets the pin four as Rudy Charles comes out to take count the three. This is only 1,066 people at the Novcots Pavilion tonight, but it's fine. We're on the road. We're not going to oversaturate the southeast. And after the match, Biss is angry after getting hit over the head by a guitar, but Jarrett's left the ring. And he's gone up the ramp. He's legged it. And James Mitchell comes out on the stage and gives Abyss a round of applause. Abyss goes up the ramp and he just looks at James as he goes into the back. And the announcers talk about this. You know, they're, they're like, what's going on here? Why is James Mitchell come out? And why is he giving Abyss a round of applause? And we get to 43. We're going to a match where Marafuji takes on Ketsia Shibata in 744 by Pinfall and Ketsia Shibata defeated Marafuji. Um, Marafuji 42, Ketsia Shibata 36. They didn't really like this because they haven't got no investment in these guys. So that's fine. This is the Japanese influx. So we've got Mar Minoi Suzuki on the roster, but you didn't get to see him in action tonight because they were all on the pre-show. The same as the Free Life crew and new church well they're on the pre-show but they've got a big angle coming up now so after the match um we after this match the announcer say we've got to go to the back something is going on in the back we see the new church and free live crew are just brawling everywhere you throwing weapons at each other and we know that next week tempest will face ron killings and bg jones can all defend the titles against sin and slash and they're using weapons and then abyss just comes out of nowhere and just lays out the free live crew and then he walks off has he joined joined the new church, or is he just pissed off because of Jarrett? Those are the questions we need to be asking ourselves. Now, let's get this let's get this show booked now, more or less. Now we're a week away, we can do this. The free live crew will take on the disciples of the new church, Sin and Slash, um, with the NWA World Tag Team titles will be on the line next week. Not only have we got that match to look forward to next week, we've got AJ Styles inside a steel cage. As I said, this is a major show. This is the biggest show we've booked. Um, I've got booked for my in my head at the moment. <clears throat> After this, I'm not booking any major shows apart from the first TV show. Um, we're just going to do some storylines to chug along. I might do another major show, but I'm not sure how long um, we've got until... Um, we've we've got until... Blah, 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 November of this year before we do our first live pay-per-view. But yeah, this is going to be the Steel Cage match. Of course, I'm going to give it an ample of time. Next week's show will be the first ever three-hour edition um, of TNA Impact, um, of this show. We are going to be doing a three-hour pay-per-view next week. And this is just as testing the waters to see if we could do a three-hour pay-per-view. 
Um, not we're not going to do it every week, but this is like testing the waters for the future. Not that they did this in real life, but we've got a big enough roster now, and I think doing a three-hour show is really going to help the company. And we've got Abyss taking on Jeff Hardy in an I Quit match. That's been. Um, um, I didn't really talk about the I Quit match. Today. Who else have we got? Um, well, we ain't done Tempest versus Ron Killings. Um, let's do that now. I've got every, everything that's going to happen next week in my head. Um, I have got booked out in my head. I know how next week's show is going to go down. I know who's winning what matches. I know what the direction the company's going in for the next few months, you know, for, for the rest of 2004. And then also, you know, I know where, you know, what we're doing with the company. I know who I'm pushing, who I'm going to be trying to get over. Um, I'm going to turn the X-Division like I normally do into its own little division eventually. Um, but I'll do that at a later date. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait until we start doing proper monthly pay views and stuff. And I really want to get the X-Division title over with Brian Danielson first. Um, and Michael Shane and Chris Danielson. That I want them in there. But then I want to remove them and put them into the main event scene. But yes, yeah, so I guess a 43. And we've got an amazing card next week. Of course, there are going to be other matches on this three-hour special of NWA Weekly Pay View. So that's something to look forward to. 43, I might just keep it to two hours anyway. And JB's like, this show is off the rails tonight. And Eric Watts taken out in the opening match. But joining me now, the man. Now the man in tonight's main event defending that title, AJ Styles. AJ, tonight you face Hardy. And next week inside a steel cage, you've got Jarrett. What is going on in your mind tonight? And AJ's like, look, I requested the match tonight. Hardy deserves the shot. And tonight he's going to get it. And we're going to put, put on a world-class match. Tini Wrestling is in Las Vegas tonight. And I can bet you that I'll walk out champion next week, JB. It's going to be the same thing again. I'm going to destroy Jeff Jarrett and Planet Jarrett once and for all next, oh, next week live. That's next week. I've got to go and get ready for my main event match here tonight. And as he goes to leave, once again, Samoa Joe walks past and he looks at the title and AJ and then back at the title and he just leaves. And they get to 43. I think Joe didn't do really well on that. Here in a decent match, CM Punk defeat D'Lo Brown in 7.44 by pin for the Pepsi plunge. CM Punk 46, D'Lo Brown 62. D'Lo Brown is on his way out of the company because he's signed with All Japan, a uh, Britain deal, exclusive Britain deal with All Japan Pro Wrestling. So that will probably be his final match. We're writing him off. In the Bavard Supply Wrestling, Little Heat Michael Shane defeated Loki in 7.51 by Pim with the Sweet, Chin, Mu Sweet Shane music. Michael Shane makes defense number four of the TNA X Division title. Loki 47, Michael Shane 43, got a 49. It's not too bad. And then Brian, after the match, Shane holds up the title and poses when Brian Danielson's music hits. And he comes out and he's got a mic. And Brian's like, well done, Shane. you got to win. Now you think that's going to cut it next week? I'm coming for your title. And that night I'm going to walk out the X Division champion. And with this, Shane jumps out of the ring and charges at Brian and they start brawling on the stage. They fight down the ramp until security come out and split them up. Uh, the whole time this is going on, the fans are trying to let them fight. <clears throat> but, you know, Brian Danielson's come in. He came in in January and he's kind of been there. He's been the forefront of this, you know, X Division storyline ever since he put himself straight in the title picture, which is a great way to come into this company. And there's a 43. Then in an abysmal match, Arja Kong, Kiriyama, and Natsu Nidart defeat ODB, Beth Phoenix without Sky in 824. When Arja Kong pins without Sky, Sky 18, Beth Phoenix 20, ODB 10, Natsu Nidart 30, Kiriyama 47, Arja Kong 46. I got a 26. As I say, that's just going to be overlooked. And then about a decent wrestling, but it'll heat some Murray Joe defeated Kiti, Kiti Kara in, in 49 seconds by Pin of the Island Driver. Kiti Kara got a 34. Samoa Joe got 72, just our standard squash match. But the first standard squash match, it got a 60, which is not bad. Then we have another squash match as Amazing Kong defeat Amber O'Neill in a 104 by Pin of the Amazing Bomb. Uh, Amazing Kong 40, Amber O'Neill 18. Got 17. Then we got this video to promote that Sting will be there next week live at the TNA Weekly pay-per-view. He will be there live and he will be addressing his career from TNA and what, what the future holds for the icon Sting. That will be next week. And then the cameras are rushing down this corridor again and Brian and Shane are just brawling again in the backstage area. They, you can tell how fired up these two are and the security in the radios are just struggling to split these guys up. They really are struggling. They eventually do it, but you can see how much this, these two are fired up for this match. <clears throat> and I guess a 47. Next up, it's now time for your main event of the evening as AJ Styles takes on Jeff Hardy. And he only gets a 47 in a decent match. AJ Styles defeat Jeff Hardy in 29 minutes 49 by from the Stars Clash. AJ Styles makes defense number four of the NWA World Heavyweight title. AJ Styles 61, Jeff Hardy 57. He got 57 overall. 
And then after the match, AJ and Hardy shake hands. They hug and Jeff holds up AJ's hand up in the air. When Jeff and Abyss hit the ring, they attack the person they're feuding with. So Abyss is attacking Jeff Hardy. Jeff Jarrett is attacking AJ. But they don't make eye contact or acknowledge each other. And we close the show with Abyss and Jarrett standing strong over their opponents. But they're back to back. And I guess a 52. That's where we finished tonight's show. Getting a 59, it increased our popularity in 29 regions. And as I say, we're on the road for the next couple of weeks, so I'm expecting the ranks to drop a bit, a little bit, <clears throat> because as I say, quite a lot of the wrestlers are over in our home region, but they're not over in the rest of the state, so I think that's going to showcase it. But we're going to finish the show there with a 29. Let's go to the main screen, shall we? And as I say, this is the Icarus Red thing. And we've got Water and Rhino graduated from the new Pandora, made his debut in 1999. He's quickly making himself as a junior heavyweight man, despite being a New Japan worker. He's made a handful of appearances in NOAA. And I think that's quite common in, in Japan anyway. Sometimes you they can work something out and they appear. So we were the best show last night, 59. We got... Um, the feedback has been that the show was good, and although some found it under, underwhelming. I think some of these squash matches and matches they weren't invested in kind of dropped us, but there we go. Johnny Jester and Mark Magnus defeated Shane to turn the tables. Uh, John Henning and Disciples of Sin. Interesting. Disciples of Sin. That's a bit close to us, isn't it? Tomko. <laughs> he eventually does come to TNA at one point. But yeah, has Travis Bain. You know, Brent Bridge. <clears throat> John Henning, of course, John, better known as John Morrison. Tommy Dreamer's working down there as well. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Samoa Joe, Ring of Honor, order their turns for Samoa Joe. I'm trying to hire him and Samoa Joe on a permanent deal. We've always oh, already accepted. That's good. We've got Samoa Joe on permanent contract. Dutch Davis turning good work of the kids worth getting behind. We'll do that. Um, 58,028 viewers, and we've got 58,028 bells. Um, Sokotel, unhappy, Isabai, and Cable. So I will deal with that. I'm going to drop us down where we are being shown. I'll show you all that on camera because <clears throat> I'm only going to do two this month. So we did lose. This is why I'm on the road now. We lost this much last month, which is quite a lot to lose in a month. Um, but let's go to. That's our pre book button. We've got this great show planned next month, next week, which will be live from Fingami. Kessia Shibata will be going for an MMA, MMA fight in 30 days. So he ain't going to be around for long and then he'll come back. We're ranked number three in the world. Um, what was I going to do? I'm going to show you T I was going to show you WWE and I'm going to show you New Japan. Um, and then I'm going to get on with the next go to the next show. Um, this is why we're trying to hire people. We can now do house shows. So I want everybody who we can get on house show duty. So every yeah, so that's why we're going to try and hire loads of people to contracts, and then we're just going to try and put everybody on the house show tour so we can start doing house shows, and that's going to get them over in these places where they're not over going to tour in the world like we want to do. Um, but yeah, so this is the company, um, Tourneries, which are tournaments. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff going on. Our ticket prices are normal at the moment, and that's going to stick like that. I might start doing free tickets, get more people in, and do bigger shows and thing of me, but yeah. But yeah, so everything's working fine at the moment, medical investments. Um, of course, we've got only one title at the moment, but I haven't checked um, any status. No, we've just got that so we can make the titles. That's good. So let's have a look at the two. Um, I'm going to have a look at number one and number two, and then we're going to have a quick look at Ring of Honor Wrestling, who are about to lose. So let's go to Diary Company Wars. So our number one and number two is New Japan and WWE, and then it's TNA, and then followed by Noah. As you can see, Ring of Honor's down here below CZW, which is interesting at this time. You've got Shikara as well. So let's have a look at those companies now. So we're going to have a look at Noah. We'll have a look at New Japan, but we'll start with the number one company in the world, WWE. At the moment, they're WWE Heavyweight Champions, Brock Lesnar. You've got Triple H as the World Heavyweight Champion. Tag Team Champions are the Bash Basham Twins. Um, Royal Rumble winner was Shawn Michaels, just so you know. Um, the Women's Champion is Stacey Keebler. World Tag Team Champions are Ric Flair and Batista. Randy Orton is your Intercontinental Champion. United States Champion is the Big Show. You won't see it coming, but I promise you will know. And then Rey Mysterio is the Cruiserweight Champion, who I desperately want, but I've got 10 months to wait. Really bugging me, that is. I have him on my shortlist, and I'm waiting these 10 months. They're doing pretty well, as you can see. Like SmackDown's getting quite good ratings. Velocity, getting a 69. It's only a B show. But like the Royal Rumble got an 83. I think we did go through this, didn't we? Yeah, we went through all this. But this is the Royal Rumble had a lot of big names in it. Mick Fo Rob Van Dam, Mick Foley, Kevin Nash returned, Kurt Angle, Bill Goldberg, Shawn Michaels, Andrew Martin, don't know who you are, Trevor Guerrero Jr., John Cena, Matt Hardy, Bob Holly, Shane McMahon, Jericho. 
some great names in there, and that's good. Good show. Let's have a look at New Japan now. And one the company we've got a close. We ain't got a working agreement with them yet, but we have. As you they have quite a positive thing, and we ain't got a talent train deal. They feel we're too much, too small at the moment to make that beneficial. But it is something we'll be working on. But we have, we have agreed to take. Um, if you didn't notice in the relationships with us, we have agreed to accept workers on excursion. So we're hoping that people, when they come out, they think. This is their latest show, Guardian Fires. You can see Shinsuke Nakamura defeat Ken Saki to the IWGP title. And um, we've got Heater defeating the great thing. But Shinsuke Nakamura is signed to TNA on a um, handshake deal as well. So we're, we're going to try and secure... Um, I don't know, we already know what we've got. Um, and Tino's greeted, have a friendly attitude. Propose a no stealing agreement. Are they going to accept? Yeah, they're not going to accept. I don't think they would. So we don't know how long we'd have them on thing me, but yeah, so it's quite they're doing quite well, New Japan. Let's have a look at their champions. We've just seen one of their champions. The best super juniors were we haven't done that yet this year. We haven't done the G1 climax yet this year either. IWGP Everweight Champion is Shinsuke Nakamura. He took it off um Horacio Tan Horacio Tenzin. Um junior heavyweight is Heat. I don't know. I've never heard of Heat. Um Moro Takanaki. I've heard of you though. <laughs> IWG junior heavyweight tag teams are Juice One Liger and Kaija Kanemutu. Um, the tag team damage of Hiroshi Tanzai and Yusio Takamari. And the under 30 open weight is Hiroshi Tanashi. Never heard that about before, but very nice on name. And that's Hiroshi Tanashi, who is also on TNA. You might not have seen him yet. And then we're just going to have a quick look at Noah and see. So I think Noah going to overtake us pretty quick, because you can see here, look, Kenny Kabashi, who we have not been able to get signed because he's on exclusive. Devine Hiroshi Tanahashi in a 91 for the GHC. Um, who else have we got? Juvenile, Rio, Santudo, Richard. So, yeah, I'm doing some good stuff there. I'm going to see. It's quite interesting to see. Let's have a look at the champions then. Um, Kent Kabashi is the GHC World Champion, Heavyweight Champion. Junior Heavyweight is Roy Sata. Uh, junior Heavyweight is Marafuji and Kenta. And tag team is Eugene Nagata and Horish Tanahashi. Kenta? Hmm. No, yeah, he's written exclusively to Noah. Would be tempted to hire him. As well, shortlist him. But that's what's going on at the moment. Let's have a quick look at Ring of Honor Wrestling. The World Heavyweight Champion will be leaving soon. And that'll be uh, who is Samoa Joe. We've got the Tag Team Champions, which are Loki and Just Incredible. And the Pure Champion is AJ Styles, who is definitely leaving. He is about to be signed to a 10 year contract with TNA Wrestling. <clears throat> well, that's what we're trying to do. AJ, we'll see you next week for more Total Non Stop Action Wrestling as we've got that huge pay per view. And that's where we'll close today's episode. Thank you for watching so far. See me in a click. So welcome back. This is the big show. We got 1,000 people tonight sold out of the Philadelphia Armory tonight for NWA TNA on pay per view. <clears throat> so we open straight to the venue tonight, where BG and Conan are brawling ringside with weapons with the new church, and they fight into the ring, and the ref rolls in and the rings the bell. We're kicking things off with the World Tag Team Titles here tonight. No fancy, ex no fancy. Explosions, no fancy pyro, no fancy opening package. Straight in with the action here. That's what Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling is all about. And he gets a 50, which is a decent match. In the bow, didn't have much heat and terrible wrestling. Disciples of the New Church defeated Free Life Crew in 9 minutes and 40 seconds when Slash pin Conan with a Slash and Burn. Disciples of the New Church win the NWA World Tag Team titles. Uh, slash 34, Sin 27, um, Conan 44, and BG James 59. I'm kind of glad I put this on first because it was set out to be a wide brawl. And the side of the new church are now the NWA World Tag Team Champions. Giving us a 50, which is not bad. Quite happy with that. <clears throat> so after the crazy start to the show, the announcers finally get a chance to welcome us to the show and run down the match card tonight. After this, they send it to J to the back with JB. So they just run around all the good matches we got left. And we send it to the back with JB. And they also discuss the title change. <clears throat> and so he gets a 39, which is bad. And Jeff's like, fans, guys, I am backstage tonight, and what a way to kick off tonight. Jeff Jarrett's tonight, Sting is in the building, and you're in a steel cage tonight. How do you feel about this? And Sting's Jarrett's like, look, it's this simple. Sting is washed up, old, and has been. Also tonight, me in a steel cage is fine. I'm going to win back my Underworld title. I'm going to walk out the champion. Whoever is in charge next week will have me as their champion. And Melissa storms off a Jeff's like, this past week, TNA started touring, and some of the high and here are some of the highlights. And then we just get some clips from the TNA live shows we've had this week, showing off some of the matches and, you know, fan interaction we had, like they do. In a episode of Subpar Wrestling, a little heat, CM Punk defeated Hiroshi Tanahashi in 809 by pinfall the Devil Lock DDT. CM Punk 43, Hiroshi Tanahashi got a 54. Not bad. 
and cope with that. And this angle does amazingly. Sting came out of this looking excellent. So after the match, Sting's music hits and he gets a huge standing ovation from the crowd here tonight. And he comes down to the ring before he starts to cut the promo. He just stands there, shock, shock, um, soaking in the crowd noise. And then Sting starts talking. He's like, since January, he's seen the video packages. I'm coming out here to dress my career. Well, here I am, and I've just signed a big deal with TNA. And let me tell you this, Sting is now a full-time member of the great, this great roster. And he's not retiring at all. He's going to be doing live events. He's going to be doing pay-per-views. And in July, when TNA Impact debuts, he'll be on that too. Now, I was cheated out of my chance to win the NWA World title by Jeff Jarrett tonight. I'll be watching. And if anything happens, happens, I will be there. It's showtime! So Sting announcing that he is a full-time fledged member of the NWA now and will be at all shows... From this point forward, which is huge, which is a lot earlier than he actually did it in real life. It wasn't until 2005 where he became a full-time member of the Daily roster. We've done it now. And then JB like, that's big news. Get your tickets for TNA Live. Sting is going to be there. And joining me now, the man is going to face the Monster Bits and I quit match next, Jeff Hardy. Hardy, what is going through your mind tonight? And Hardy's like, look, just look at the tea at this. Just look at this VT, and we get some more clips from a TNA Live event where AJ and Jeff took on Jarrett and Abyss. And Abyss wins by pinning Hardy with a black hole slam. You see, JB, this is going to be I quit. You've got to say I quit. I started this war with Abyss to protect AJ Styles, a great guy with a bright future within TNA wrestling. Tonight I'm scared, of, scared, but I'm going out there to put my body on the line for these times. So this Abyss runs on the set with a ref behind him and a bell rings. This match is starting in the backstage area. <clears throat> Gets a 40. And the match gets a 57. Um, in a decent match, Abyss defeated um, Jeff Hardy and I quit match in 1327 by submission. Abyss 49, Jeff Hardy 63. Abyss versus Hardy. Jeff Hardy took a, a dangerous bump off the stage through some tables and barbed wire onto Abyss um, to make him. Um, um, Abyss threw him off the stage through some tables and some sparks went off. It was a stump, crazy bump. And he got 57, and it was brutal. And it did well. 57. I'm quite happy with these guys. Well done to them. Um, in a decent match, Tempest defeated Ron Killings in 953 by Pinfall the Isle of Storm. Tempest 46, Ron Killings 66. The storyline for the Light Free Life crew, and that is going to continue tonight. Um, I don't want to end this anytime soon. I'm really loving this storyline and this, you know. There was meant to be an angle before this match where James Mitchell comes out. And I forgot to book it. So, before this match has been as it didn't happen, but we're going to say it happened. After the match, Abyss is celebrating when James Mitchell comes out. Because um, he's getting ready to support Tempest in his match with Ron Killings. He shakes the hand. He gives Abyss another round of applause. And Abyss just looks him up and down and leaves, not saying a word. And that gets, um, you know, that just it's not an important angle. It just happens at the end of the match. And this gets a 62. Tempest wins. But Ron Killings out there with 66. I think that's his best performance yet. Now, this match I'm going to do well because Eric, Rot Eric Watts is in it. But after the match, Eric, Wat Eric Watts' music hits and he comes to the ring. And it's like, tonight, I'm going to come out here and say I'm going to be an in-ring competitor. But tonight, please welcome you new your new director of operations, Brett the Hitman Hart. And his music hits, he comes out to a huge pop and he comes to the ring. And Brett's like, I've been watching this company from Canada grow and be the best it can be. Eric was leaving his position and he called me to take it. And I did. I am here to run TNA with an iron fist. There'll be no bullshit. I'll be here every week. And when I'm needed, I'll stick my nose in. TNA is going to be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And he gets a 58. Bret Hart is now the managing director of TNA. I think having him in charge of TNA over Eric Watts is going to help ratings. That gets a 58, which is probably better than what Eric Watts would have got on his own. And JB's like, well, this is a huge, huge, this is huge. First thing, now Bret hit Hart in TNA Wrestling, and he is he's in charge of this place. We've still got two matches left on tonight's card, and the next one is for the X-Division title. Joining me now, the X-Division champion, Michael Shane. Shane, what are your thoughts going, What what's going through your mind ahead of your match tonight? And Shane's like, look, I'm the champion, I'm the star of the X-Division. Brian Dance wants to come in and take control. Look here, Brian. You might be a star in Ring of Honor and everywhere else, but let me tell you something. This is not going to happen tonight. You leave this show empty-handed, and I'll still be the reigning, defending X Division champion. And Joby's like, that match is going to happen right now. And we can hear the fire in his voice. And in about a decent match with crowd, sub pro wrestling, Brian Danielson defeated Michael Shane in 1250 by Pimple the Dragon Suplex. Brian Danielson wins the TNA X Division title. Brian Danielson, 56. Michael Shane, 35. Brian Danielson is now the X Division champion of TNA Wrestling. And then we cut to the back where AJ Styles and Joby's like, it's time for the main event. The cage is being set up, so joining me now, AJ Styles. Tonight, AJ, you're going into a steel steel cage. How are you feeling? 
And she was like, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm scared. I don't want to let the fans down tonight. I want to go out there and show them why I'm the best of in TNA right now. I hold this title for all of them, and tonight James Jarrett is going to end, and I will be glad when it does. And with this, he goes to walk away, and once again, Joe comes on set and looks at AJ, then the title, back at AJ, and then leaves with a smirk on his face. And I guess a 48, not bad. And in about that great wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd, AJ Styles defeat Jeff Jarrett in a cage match in 35 minutes 20 when AJ Styles escaped the cage. AJ Styles makes defense number 7 of the NWA World Heavyweight title. Of course, he's been defending it in other companies. And he gets a 71 rated, which is a brilliant match. AJ Styles 74, Jeff Jarrett 71. A brilliant match from these two. Really well done. And this gets a 65, which is a great way to close the show. So after the match, AJ is posing with the bout, but Jarrett goes out on the outside and gets his guitar. He goes back in the ring, but Sting comes out and fights Jarrett to the back. AJ continues to celebrate when Joe comes out and just chokes AJ out to end this pay-per-view this week, getting a 65 angle. Sting was the real star in this segment. AJ Styles benefit from having a hot catchphrase. That's where we finish tonight's show. Sting making two appearances. Again, there's a 29 in popularity increase. We could have gained popularity in one American region, but restricted to limited viewers. That's a 73. Let's finish the show. Jigsaw began his career in November 2 after graduate Chicago. Rest first year, he trained under Mike Craigbush alongside his work in Chicago. He also began working for CCW in 2003. <coughs> also appeared in TNA under the name of Rubix. There's an interesting fact for you. We're going to go to the main screen now because I've now I've got everything kind of in place. We're going to have a look and see what's going on in the world of wrestling and see how well that show, I think that's our best show yet. So it just shows you're having the stars like Sting and Bret Hart and having a decent main event match. Auto saving, nice. It's not going to take too long. I will be signing all the storylines out, but the new church and the free live crew storyline ain't going to end anytime soon. I've got that penned in for a while. It's got feedback's getting great. It's got 73... Big closing angles as well. Um, we even beat All Japan Pro Wrestling last night, which is huge for me. Um, OVW as well, where all the trainees for Thingamy are doing. So let's have a look at the roster. So, oh yeah, we're signing all these people to written deals. I'll sort that out off screen, but I will be making sure these are on the Hell Show Tour because we don't want them. We want them on the Hell Show Tour. You can see some of the deals we're giving out. He's only on a three-year deal. Some of them have got longer deals because I want it to be realistic for how long they were in TNA. So Pro Wrestling Grillers have made a contract to the Briscoes. I'm trying to bring in more tag teams. It's one of the things we're lacking in TNA is a tag te decent tag teams. Yeah, so we're probably going to get them, but that's fine. We'll worry about that later down the line. But yeah, so we did it quite well last night. We got a 52,478 viewers and 50,487 buys, which is good. I really want to get off pay-per-view as soon as possible and just do TV now and then start doing pay-per-view again, but I don't think we're ready for that. Um, what else have we done? But that was brilliant. I think um, we want to look at um, top 500. Have we got top 500 in this game this year? Top 100, there it is. So, yeah, that was our best show. You can see there, NWTNA on pay-per-view, um, February 2004. And we got 71 in January. But that's good. Our top 100 matches. Brian Danson defeating Chris Daniels. AJ Styles defeating Jeff Jarrett. And AJ Styles defeating Jeff Jarrett in a steel cage match. Um, Briar Downs and Jerry Lynn, just incredible sharp boy defeating Mike Mizan and Kid Cash, Ken Gilbody, Illy Skip and Chris Daniels in a pre-show match, I do believe that was. Our best attendances, of course, are our 1,500 shows. Top 100 buys. Um, ooh, yeah, our buy rate's going down every week. So, because of that, NW18 on pay is ending. Um, and we're going to tell the stories on TV each week. We're going to do four-week TV tapings. Um, at the end of this month, we're going to do the next two, and then we'll do the first month of TV shows. But we're going to be going on to TV. I think taking it off pay per view and putting TNA weekly on paper on TV might be a good idea. We can go to Bravo, ESPN, HD Net, um, Spike TV. Could we could already communicate with Pike Spike TV here? Ooh. That might be worth looking, but we'll have a look at all that later on. I want to thank you all for watching this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Big show there. Big debut for Bret Hart. Great return for Sting. And also we've now got Sting and Jeff Jarrett feuding. And obviously AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. We've been building that up over the course of the next last few weeks. We've been peering in the angles. So we're hopefully here from Samoa Joe for the first time this coming week on NWA TNA Weekly. <laughs>